lucid dreaming, how to do it, and how to apply the law of attraction to lucid dreaming to form an almost unstoppable manifesting technique. Hi everyone, Robert Zenk, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. That's what this channel is all about. Your dreams, your goals, your desires through the law of attraction and other methods of personal empowerment want to remind you to be sure and subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon. We always have empowering videos every single day. Hey, listen, lucid dreaming. If you don't know about it, this is the video to watch. If you've tried it and had moderate success, this video will help you. And I'm also going to teach you how to apply it and use it as a tool to help you manifest your deepest desires with the law of attraction. So high flyers, lucid dreaming is where you are asleep and yet you are consciously aware that you are dreaming. Now this is, this is a game changer. This is huge because all manifesting ultimately has to go through the subconscious mind. So if you can reshape or reshift your dreams, you have the ability to put your subconscious mind directly to work with the infinite field of potential. And that means huge, I mean, big manifestation and generally very, very fast. It's an incredibly powerful system. So you're sleeping and you're dreaming at the same time. Scientists have proven lucid dreaming by literally taking people while they're sleeping and sliding them into a CAT scan where they can look at the brain and they see the various lobes of the brain lighting up during the lucid process. There's a part of you that's conscious and you have the ability to change the outcome in your dream. In my own personal journey, I know that I've been involved where say I'm being chased, a chase dream. And I realize that I'm dreaming all of a sudden whew, I take off and I'm flying and I'm free and I feel empowered and I'm no longer being threatened by some unknown enemy. You can use lucid dreaming to attract a new car, a new home. I've done both. You can use lucid dreaming to attract your soulmate. I've done that too. It really works. It's super powerful, but first you need to know how to lucid dream. Once you know how to lucid dream, then you can begin applying it to start manifesting what you deeply desire through your subconscious mind. It's absolutely incredible. So high flyers, I have studied lucid dreaming for many, many years. And what I found is in addition to modern science currently engaged in deep study of lucid dreaming, many of the ancient mystery schools studied lucid dreaming. We can see writings from Aristotle and in the Bhagavad Gita and other books where people are lucid dreaming. It might even be that in the book of revelations, John was involved in a lucid dream. So it has, it has a history in antiquity as well. Some of the techniques I'm going to share with you absolutely work. Now I'm sharing two techniques, but they work hand in hand. They're kind of linked together like a chain. So you have to use both techniques at the same time. Step number one, get yourself a dream diary. And it's not good enough to say, 
oh, I was dreaming. I better write that down in the morning. You need to write one or two words down when you wake up after the dream. So let's say you're dreaming and afterwards you wake up, you come to consciousness for a second, roll over, write down one or two words, just scribble them down, go back to sleep. What that's doing is that's training your mind to be conscious of dreaming. And you're going to start remembering your dreams more vividly. Now, when I wake up in the morning, I've written down one or two words. I will write out the dream because those one or two words will give me everything I need to remember the dream and write it out. The process of writing out your dreams, keeping a dream diary right next to your bed, if possible, and being proactive with it every single night makes your mind conscious that you are dreaming and that you have to be proactive about remembering your dreams. Remembering your dreams is the first step to actually be empowered within your dreams, to actually becoming lucid within your dreams. High flyers, lucid dreaming is so powerful when it comes to helping you manifest your deepest goals, your deepest desires, because you're working directly with your subconscious mind. You're bypassing all your fears. You're bypassing all your counter intentions and you're working directly with your subconscious mind. It's so powerful that it's worth an affirmation and doing the affirmation throughout the day. Affirm this. I am master of my dreams. I am master of my dreams. Now pause for a second, write that below here. The process of writing will help you ingrain it and cement it into your mind. And then practice saying this affirmation throughout the day. And particularly as you get closer to evening and you get ready to go to bed. Our next step is very, very important. It's the first step really in getting you lucid. You're going to set your alarm before you go to sleep for four to five hours after the time that you go to sleep. So if your bedtime is say 10 o'clock, you're going to set it for about three o'clock or maybe four o'clock in the morning. You're going to have to have a very unusual and a very specific kind of an alarm. You're going to want to have crickets or perhaps chimes. Ah, there it is or maybe even birds. I like all three. We use crickets most of the time. And what happens is, is in your dreaming state, you're dreaming, you're into REM, you're into a dream and you hear those crickets and the crickets show up in your dream. They really do. All of a sudden, you know, you might be walking along the beach in your dream, but you hear crickets. And then you realize I am dreaming. And now you can reshape things. Perhaps you can put a new boat anchored out on the bay or in the lake or on the ocean. And that boat is yours. It has your name along the side of it. And you know, you can use the birds, or you can use wind chimes, but you don't want to use an alarm that's loud and shakes you and rattles you and startles you. You want to use something that's soft, turn it down in volume, make sure you can hear it, but don't make it loud and you'll sleep right through the alarm and you'll put it right into your dreams. Again, you don't want a big long or loud bell or something like that, that just rattles you. You want something very, very soft. You can even use a very soft 
specific kind of music because all of a sudden you'll be in your dreams. Maybe you're having a nightmare and you're fist fighting Godzilla and all of a sudden a love song starts going on and you go, wait a minute, I'm dreaming. I can, I can defeat Godzilla, which is my fears by just holding my hand up and making him turn into a rubber toy. You can do anything in your dreams. You have unlimited power. And here is, here's the real part of this. Here's the real deal. Whatever you can do in your dreams, whatever you can manifest in your dreams, if you can dream it, you can have it or become it as Walt Disney used to say. So by dreaming it first and then changing it, you begin to change how your subconscious mind perceives the situation. I had one client say, you know, every night I'm dreaming of, of my ex-wife and I, I, I still miss her. I still love her. And I said, well, let's do this lucid dreaming technique. And he began doing it and they started meeting up and they started uh, falling in love again and kissing and holding hands. It was wonderful. Guess what happened three weeks later? They met up, they started kissing, they started holding hands and two months later, they are back together and married again. Now, sometimes high flyers, you will be sleeping and you'll hear that alarm and perhaps it doesn't happen in the moment of a dream. So you'll, you'll experiment with that hour of which to set your alarm clock for between five hours, four hours, sometimes three and a half hours, sometimes five and a half hours. You'll find that window when you tend to dream the most. And eventually you'll, you'll come across it after a few days of doing this work. It's not that difficult, but here's the thing. When you wake up, don't move. Stay perfectly still and affirm. I am master of my dreams. Stay as still as you possibly can. Close your eyes. You'll notice things moving around. You'll notice yourself going in and out of dreamland. Stay still. Do not move. As you start to drift back into dreamland, you are affirming I am master of my dreams and your consciousness will go with you and boom, you're lucid dreaming again. I mean, it's exciting. It's absolutely wonderful. It's, uh, it's earth shattering because of its ability to help you change your reality quickly with very, very little resistance, if any resistance at all. So what happens after that alarm goes off your body, because you stay very still, you don't roll around and try to get comfortable. You just stay still. Your body starts to fall back asleep and your body and part of your brain fall back to sleep. But there's a part of you that remains conscious. And it's just absolutely incredible because then you're in a lucid dream. And remember to write these down on a regular basis, because you're going to notice how, when you have a lucid dream, somehow, some way, a miracle happens and you manifest what you were dreaming about. So take control of your dreams and manifest what you desire by dreaming what you desire. Oh, I got to take a deep breath. I get so excited about this subject because it is so powerful to help you manifest the life you desire. You're manifesting directly from the dreams that you create in your subconscious mind. Okay. Have a great day. Pleasant dreams. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.